Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle Ferris, and welcome back to X4 Foundations, but this time it is Cradle of Humanity time! So, let's start a new game, shall we? And we're gonna go for a, um... Hey, don't want the flight school, go away! Done? Good. Even uh, right, so the Cradle of Humanity ones, there's two! In the aftermath of the escalating tensions between the United Space Command and the Commonwealth, culminating in the destruction of the Taurus Eternal. The people of the solar system welcomed the seclusion the Jumpgate shutdown brought with it. In isolation, they prospered and soon began to heal, putting the traumatic events of the past behind themselves. After an initial period of instability, the USC government was restructured, and out of the wreckage of the old, the Terran Protectorate was born. Right. Now, Having re-established contact with the Gate Network, we, the Protectorate, are the shield valiantly standing between its inhabitants and the Xenon Menace. Ah. The other factions may not recognize us as Supreme Protectors just yet, but they will. Good. Okay, so, uh, Terran Cadet, uh, being born in Outer Sol, Protectorate poli policy prevents you from seeing Earth. Now that you have graduated from cadet school, you can earn that privilege. Oh, interesting. Okay, or Project Genius. Is that going to give us another one? The mission statement of the it Pioneer is. Initiative was to expand the Terran sphere of influence past Sol's gates. Refugee communities suddenly stranded when the gates were disconnected, along with disenfranchised people born on the outer rim of Sol, were brought together under the banner of expanding into the unknown. At first, it was merely a tool established by the Terran government with the express intent of keeping these disparate groups at arm's length, and to create another protective buffer between Sol and the Gate Network. Hmm. Ever since their inception, however, these resolute pioneers ceaselessly fought to loosen the Terran's grip over the organization in order to turn it into something truly inspiring and independent. Hmm, right. Okay. So we've got a sort of uh, huh, civilian-like group there, and we've got the real military the type on the other... Yeah, 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 I've heard this. Oh, come on, please. I was about to read the other thing. Oh, well, never mind. Let's just choose one. Let's choose the second one, because we can choose the first one later. It doesn't matter. For us matter. Cigarist pioneers, science is the cornerstone of society. Uh-huh. With the few resources we have available to us, it's the only way we could ever hope to make Brennan's triumph our home. And to truly Grief. free ourselves from the Terran yoke. Lovely. For that reason, I could never give up the pursuit of knowledge. No matter what dangerous places it might lead me to. For science! Hmm. <laughs> well. What next? And we are in. Ooh, hello. This is pretty. <laughs> What are we looking at there? It's been years now since the gate to Aldrin shut down. Hmm. I wonder how the people there are doing. Are they scared? Do they miss their loved ones? Do they still have spring blossoms? I wonder if we're ever going to hear from them. Hmm. Hmm. So many technological advancements, and we're still mostly clueless about how the gates work and what affects <laughs> them. We just take them for granted. I wish I could talk to whoever built them. Ask them why. Why build a network of gates and then leave? So many questions yet to be answered. I guess the upside is that I won't run out of things to investigate anytime soon. <laughs> that is an upside, I guess. Oh, I'm staring out of a window. Najia, what are you doing? Are you off daydreaming again? Yes. Have you not read my message? I clearly stated the importance of this task. I have already set up all the instruments, and now I'm only waiting for you. Hurry up. We don't have all cycle. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, deploy satellite in target area. I will need to get to my ship first before I can do that. And I fancy staring around this station, because we can. Hmm, can't go in there or there. Okay, let's go over here, and let's see what the station's like. So, um, uh, hmm, Traders Cornea? Oh, we have a rapier! Okay, so, let's get to the rapier, shall we? I could totally teleport to that. Well, sort of. Take me to the rapier! 
Hmm. Is that's the rapier, is it? Cool. It's got like two sets of wings. Interesting. Very strange shape. Very strange shape. But interesting nonetheless. We can't see a lot of this station from here, but uh, we'll we'll have to get in there and uh, and deal with it. Rapier. Press H. Ah, for the uh, for the help menu and tutorial. Yeah, I don't need that. Thank you. I'll probably need it later. <laughs> when I realise I've forgotten all of the controls. Okay, so we're in Brennan's Triumph. Let's undock and see what we can do. Hmm, now then. Oh, I'm already scanning the station. Ah, we're actually inside a complex. That's kind of cool. I wonder how fast this rapier can go. It definitely doesn't look anything like the old rapier, that's for certain. But remember that I'm, I'm tall, aren't I? This is right at the bottom. Okay, so... Over there deploying satellites. Great. We can do that. No problem at all. Unknown zone. It's over there. That's not an unknown zone at all. It's 500... No, 270 kilometers over there. Right, let's go in travel mode, which is... Um, three? No, that's scan. Two? No, that's something else. Four? No, that's uh, thingy. One! Brilliant! Okay. I finally remembered. Okay, what sort of gun have we got? We got a... A shooty shooty gun. It it does the shooty shooty thing. That's that's what it does. That's great. Wonderful. Ooh, we go fast. 5,000 meters a second? We're still going up. Brilliant. Hmm. Am I going to remember how to stop? You need to place the satellites as precisely as possible. Precise, Major yes. deviations could result in incorrect data, and my experiment depends on them being accurate. All right. I would do it myself, but I have to monitor the data as it comes in. All right. We're doing that. I'm on my way. I'm nearly there now. Look, see? I wonder how the stopping is on this ship. Because it's a small ship, it should be really good. So let's, uh, let's try the stopping. And uh, now. Nagia, please be precise. I am being precise. <laughs> what the heck is that? There, that's precision for you. Precisely what the heck is that? We do have a higher margin of error when placing this one, as we can compensate for any deviation with the subsequent satellites. You said I should be precise. Honestly, you can't tell me both things at the same time. Be precise. Put it somewhere within the ballpark of where we're looking at. <laughs> that is not precision. Okay, deploy satellite. We have one satellite deployed. There. First satellite deployed. It Although is. It's hardly worth mentioning as we need all three to gather useful data. Great. Where's the next one? Over there. Unknown zone. All right. Again, it's not unknown. It's 170 something kilometers that way. That's not unknown. I know. I know that. Thank you. Uh, travel speed. And I've forgotten how to look out. I read in your file that your family has roots in Aldrin. That colony certainly developed some interesting technology when they were isolated. Like it's the spring blossom. They're cut off again. It's almost as though the universe doesn't want us reunited. <laughs> I, for one, am glad to be on this side of the gate and have access to Sol in its full glory. Yeah. Maybe one day you too will be granted access to Earth. Maybe. Or maybe not. We'll just have to see. What's that? What's that? That is a thing. Just like the other thing. A strange thing. An unknown thing, perhaps. It won't let us click on it, so... Uh... It's going to remain an unknown thing. Go faster. Whoosh. I only use half of my uh, my shielding when I do that. Because I don't like to boost too far. Okay. So the shields take a long time to charge. Even on the small ships. That's good to know. Well, it's got a, it's got a long delay anyway. Hmm. I wonder how big the shields are. I wonder everything. Everything must be wondered. What the heck is that? Hmm. Huh. Strange floating weirdness. That's what that is. Strange floating weirdness. Hmm. Hmm. It's purple, though. That's nice. <laughs> it's got the right colour for strange purple floating weirdness. That's, that's fine. That's a long way away. That's not even close to this. 
Interesting. I kind of want to go around it and scan it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Deploy the satellite. Need to be more precise with positioning the second satellite. Got it. Got it. I'm going to look at the map and see how close we are. Okay, I'm a little bit, little bit closer than that. I can go a little bit closer than that. I can, in fact, I can put a... Um, I can't put a thing even there? Interesting. I can't put a thing there. Usually you can put a, uh, a, a, a waypoint. Show guidance to this position, but no! It's a little bit forwards. Tiny bit forwards. Let's go a tiny bit forwards. And then when we're a little bit more in the middle of that thing, then I'll place the satellite. Stop! Let's have a look at the uh, map now. Eh, it'll do. I mean, technically we could have dealt with uh, just leaving it where it was, so, you know. This is fine. Good. Second satellite deployment noted. Good. One to go. One to go. Yeah, but I also want to check out this thing. Because look at it. It's wonderful. It looks like one of the wreckages that you would find in, like, Argon Prime. So maybe it's got passageways. I find it interesting that you like spending so much time here. Most people prefer the relative peacefulness of Sol. I never thought I'd see the day when Brennan's Triumph, the legendary epicenter of anarchy, was routinely <laughs> patrolled by Terran forces. Uh -huh. Given the history, you can see why the former Space Command chose to establish a connection here. But there's only so much that Polish can accomplish. Polish? Hmm, okay. Yep, it's just wreckage. Uh, I do wonder if it's got anywhere that you can actually enter. It probably might do. There's a definite for you. It probably might do. So somewhere there might be an entrance. But we have a satellite to put down. So let's go over I'm to that really, down. really, really bright bit over there. And try putting it there, eh? See if it actually gets us what we want. I want more ships. I want more ships. I want to see the other ships. I mean, at the moment, I've only seen one ship. And that was the one that we got in. So I don't know. Uh, well, there are ships around. I mean, I have seen a lot of the ships, obviously, because I've, I've watched the uh, I watched the live stream yesterday. Can you show? Hello. Wait. Wait. Ah, we can pause. Brilliant. Now, pausing allows us to do that, and that allows us to do that, which is also. Oh, okay. So it's a uh, it's a builder ship, uh, and uh, the builder ships all look very similar. This one's bright red. Which is strange, because you would have thought that the um, the Terrans might have gone for blue or silvery or, or or silvery, probably. Or white, potentially. But uh, yeah, apparently not. Apparently they've gone for that. What does our ship look like? Let's look at our ship up close now. I remember rightly. There we go. Uh, now we can look at it properly. Oh, wow. That is very spaceshipy, that's for sure. It's... Um, the graphics have obviously been uh, left up because uh, usually I turn the graphics down and we don't get to see much of anything on these things. But uh, at the moment, it's all it's all shine and uh, and wow, oh wow, it really does look nice. <laughs> I mean, my usual thing, I wouldn't be able to see much of anything to this. But uh, wow, look at that! Look at the texture on it and the uh, and the reflections. That's really really cool. That looks like a nice thing. Okay, let's forget looking at the nice thing and let's get on this way. We are going to see about this satellite at high speeds. Greatly high speeds. We didn't see anything else of that ship. But that ship was just a, a normal builder, so yeah, normal builder. I wonder if there's any other ships around this sector. Let's have a look. Can we see? We cannot! Though we have placed some satellites, we can still see hardly any ships. There's a, a, a wharf there. Brilliant. And a uh, shipyard. So we've already got the wharf and the shipyard on the map. Hmm. Neptune over there. And another place over there that we're not mean to. I want to explore everywhere. That last sad placement. We have things to do here, and these readings I'm don't look working good. on it. Need that Shh. For a second. Just hold that thought. I'll be right back to it after I look at uh, the katana. Okay, so let's look at the katana. Brilliant. Uh, there we go. Oh, yes. 
You see, with the blue and the silver, this is this is more this is more Terran to me. This is what Terran should look like: blue and silver, with a massive, um, massive cockpit. I mean, look at that thing; it's huge. There's like three people sat there. That's that's just like a um, that's just like a capital type cockpit. That is, despite the fact it's not a capital ship. Uh, it's got two two turrets on the top. No turrets on the bottom, I notice. None. Now those turrets would have to be pretty strong to deal with things, because if that's a second-class ship, uh, you know, medium ship. Well, I suppose it's got four guns. So it's got four guns at the front, and it's got two turrets at the top. No, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Mm hmm. I want me one of those now, uh, so we can see what it's like. Just, 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 just that. So that that would do nicely. So okay. And I've got no information on it because ha! empty space. Oh, going too fast. Going too fast. Stop! 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 Oh, great, great, straight past it. I'm always the doing exact that. Positioning is of the utmost yeah, for yeah, this one. yeah. The optimal I'm on the performance way. required for this experiment. Got it. Got it. I will be there shortly, and hopefully, I won't get straight past it. I... Slowly approach your area for optimal placement. Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah. So what's that? It's like a plant farm type stuff. Uh, we've seen those big di biodomes before, plenty. Uh, so we should know. Yes, place satellite. I'm not there yet. Exact positioning is of the I'm working on it. You can see me working on it. Uh, okay, a little bit further forwards. I can get even more precise than your rough area. Pfft. Nearly there. Hopefully. Yeah. Right, let's see. Ooh, so close. Bit further. I'm going to get this as precise as possible. He said, there, precise as possible, right? So, yeah. Nah, nearly. Bit more. And, ooh, what's that? Uh, stop, 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 stop. Yes. Oh, look okay. at that. That. Great. Uh, hmm. What button again? This one. And then again. Ooh, look at that! I like the disc thing on the top. That's quite cool. What's this then? What is this? Oh, obviously, this is some sort of transport ship. Uh, I don't see any guns. Wait, it's got it's got um, four turrets. Well, it's got three turrets technically, but uh, yeah, four turrets, and they're all in the middle, which means that there's all this area. Ooh, look inside. All this area that's got nout. And the back's not very well protected. Oh, it's got another turret back on uh, the back. And in fact, it's got two turrets, because that's a turret as well, isn't it? I didn't realise that was a turret. Massive turrets. Oh, it's got two turrets underneath as well. Good grief. This is quite well protected, actually. Oh, it's got another turret there. Hmm. It's got turrets all over it. But, uh, yeah, it's still got... It's Is that a turret? No, it's a shield, isn't it? That's the large shield. So it's still quite unprotected if you're sort of here-ish. You're just about here-ish. And then you shoot that turret and then you shoot that turret. Uh, this one's probably going to be an easy one to take. You know, if I felt like taking that sort of thing. Which I do. Uh, but we'll have to do that a lot later. Because we're nowhere near taking ships yet. Not in this little craft. Okie dokie. So let's uh, get out of pause. Ido. Mineral. And dump that satellite so that we can continue. Satellite dumped. There. How's that? Finally, third satellite deployed. It's about time. Huh. <laughs> I did a great job. I feel like going to the Katana. station. Katana. Oh, Katana, yes. Yeah, Katana. I wonder what it'll tell me about the Katana. I wonder how fast it goes. I don't know. It doesn't tell me. Well, it doesn't tell me anything. Hmm. How fast is it going, is another thing. It's going at zero meters per second, which is a lie. A typical, typical lie. Yeah. Okay, so what's our mission now? We have an inactive mission. All right, so what's our inactive mission? That's a, that's a good question. Oh, I've forgotten how to do everything. Okay. Uh, let's see, inactive mission. Demonstrate our presence. Reward 144,000 thingies. 
Okay, we have noticed an increase in pirate raids, an enemy faction activity in one of our sectors. We cannot be perceived as weak, and we certainly cannot allow our sovereignty to be questioned. Patrol the sector for at least 20 minutes and shoot down any insurgents you come across. We will pay you for your time and award an additional bonus for any enemy ships you shoot down in Brennan's Triumph. I am not going to do that. No way. That's just a possible mission, by the way. Uh, okay, so what's our actual mission? What is our actual mission? Acquire a captain? That's our actual mission? I'm the captain. I don't need a blooming captain. I might need to... Oh, hello, what's this? Ah, demonstrates that that's the, uh, that's the other mission. Okay, fine. Well, if we haven't got a mission by the looks of it, uh, then I might go for a stroll. When I say stroll, I mean go and check out various things and see if we can get some missions, because obviously missions are good! Or, alternatively, I could, uh, I could sort of, you know... I'm going to map the place, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so, what we want to do if we're going to map the place is... What do we want to do if we're going to map the place? How are we going to do this? I know how to do this. I do. Potentially. Manage plots. Ah! Here we go. This is the one we want. Oh, rats! I wanted to uh, see if we could see the various... Just, if I create a new plot, will it actually... No, it's not going to do that. Looks like... Maybe these are all of the stations in this sector? Because usually if you go into this plot view, then it shows you where all of the stations are. But they might have made that so that you actually have to find them before before that will actually work. Now we can see two colours of ships here. So this is the two factions, isn't it? Uh, I don't want to be in the plot view anymore. Forget the plot view. Get out of it. No, objects list. That'll do fine. Okay, so yeah, that's the uh, tear. Tear is one, and Pio is the other. What's this? This uh, this is the destroyer, the Osaka. Let's have a look at the Osaka because yes. Wait, no. Why can't I see it? Target that. Target. Good. Now I want to see the Osaka, but this isn't going to actually get us anything, is it? Never mind. It's going to get us one thing. The amazing ability to look at the Osaka. Wow. I thought... I thought this ship was, like, supposed to be, like... What's the word? Non-symmetrical? I want a word for that, which I've forgotten. <laughs> Unsymmetrical. Insymmetrical? In <laughs> Not symmetrical. That That is my plan. Wow. That looks cool. Yes. Yes, I could want one of those very easily, but it's got like one turret there. Is that a turret? I can't tell. That looks like a turret. Yes, it's got two turrets. Two turrets here. One, two, and then three, four. So it's got two more turrets there. Three, uh, four, five. And then we've got the two big turrets, which is excellent. And then we've got two turret, two guns over here. This is a destroyer, isn't it? Yes. This looks very much like it should be a battleship. It's got four turrets underneath, and a, a big turret there. Yes, so it's got two big turrets on the top and one big turret on the bottom. This is a good ship. This is a great ship. I mean, it's only got two um, main cannons, but most of the destroyers have only got two main cannons. It's only the uh, the split ship that uh, that has the the four, and that can't shoot quite as far as the others. I wonder how far this ship can shoot. I really like the big, uh, the big uh, circle thing at the bottom. That's that's kind of nice, and the shininess. Oh, the shininess! There's so much shininess to be had, and that is really nice. Yes, yeah, I'm I'm liking this ship. This is I want one of those as well. <laughs> okay, so let's get out of this and let's get searching the place for missions. I guess because he's not telling us anything. So in which case, we might as well go and earn some rep or something. Station. As such, 
let's go to a station and earn some rep by shooting down criminals. Best way of earning rep, I find. Uh, and with with the fact that we've only got one tiny, tiny, tiny gun, uh, it's it's going to be very, uh, very useful to shoot down criminals at stations. Oh, hello, the doctor's phoning again. What have you got to say for yourself? Anytime Not soon. Here. It looks like your security clearance has been approved. Hooray! Please come and see me so we can discuss this in person. Brilliant. I will. Um, but currently I'm busy. So I'll come back to that. We're only at plus five, which is not good enough. And I'm looking at a station, which is always fun. Uh, I'm going to look at the station. But I'm going to look at the station in the next episode because I'm all out of time. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.